Hi everybody and welcome back. This is Mr. Petromo and today we are going to um, learn how to make a quiz in Nearpod and they are a lot of fun and uh, very useful. So I'm going to add a new slide and I'm going to go to add activity. The quizzes are found under activity. Remember they're not the lists aren't very um, big under each category so if you don't find it it's one of the outside too. Um, so open up that quiz generator. Now quizzes are only multiple choice in Nearpod. So if you want open-ended questions or if you want writing prompts, there's tools for that and other spots in Nearpod. These are only going to be multiple choice um, quiz questions. So you can enter your question here. And I did make a, a list of trivia questions. So I'm going to actually just going to copy and paste my question into Nearpod. There we go. Now, I can type in my answers. And add more answers. And then I'm going to mark the correct answer with the green check. So this will automatically tell them if they got the answer right or wrong and keep their grade. I also need to give this title a quiz. So this is just my sample. Um, also, you can add a timer, which I highly recommend. I love that timer. Sometimes in Nearpod, um, you will find the kids get bogged down on something. And if you give them on a simple question, even a 45 second timer, this will keep them on track. So keep them going. So I'm going to add that 45 second. Now. now the reference button is phenomenal. You're going to love it because the reference will be able to, will allow you to insert an image, a video, a PDF, an audio clip, web content so you can put in a, a, a web page link or you can narrate with the audio recorder so you can read the question to the kids um, the video is great you could put a, a little short video of jack and jill for amp for instance for this one let's do that one so i can actually add this video right to the quiz question and the kids will be able to click the play button watch the video and then find the answer and then move on to the next question. So it's pretty awesome. You can also duplicate a question if you have a, a series of questions that are very similar with one or two differences. You can just duplicate it and then make the different, make the change with the little minor difference once you have it. Um, you can also, let's add in a new qu question, add in a new question. There's also a brand new math tool. So. For math teachers, you have all the exponents and the math symbols here. So you can totally make a math quiz with this. This is very cool and it's brand new. So um, math people, you got this. This will be fun. And then um, once you're done, let's say math question here. I'm going to just put in an image of math, see what I get. Uh, let's just do this one. So this will be just a small icon on the um, upper part of the question for the kids. Um, no, totally not necessary. You can leave those blank. And oftentimes I do if I'm in a hurry, I'll leave that blank. But uh, the video and the PDF viewer, oh my God, it's so many cool tools with that. Um, I'm not going to take much time with this. I'm just going to add this in. And now I have my quiz saved. And I can open that back up. Oh, that's a new feature, convert to time to climb. Those are fun. So any quizzes you can convert to time to climb. And I can open this quiz back up into editing mode. You can actually, I'm zoomed in a little bit too much to show you. But you can take this question and drag it and reorder them. So it becomes question one. So really handy. When you go to um 
send the question. You can also, I mean, send the quiz. You can also um, have it randomize the answers, which is handy when you have a classroom full of kids that are in close quarters. For remote learning, we probably won't have to do that. But um, that's the quiz in a nutshell. When you're done with the quiz, you will get a PDF report um, that has all their answers and their scores. So it's really a handy feature. So hope you hope you like the quiz part, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.